What's up guys and welcome to another serum tutorial. Today we're going to be making a dunk base that you hear on like a deep house track. Something like that. It's real easy to do in serum. So the first thing we're going to do is left click on this where it says default up here and go to analog. And we're going to add in a sine wave here. And we're going to enable uh, oscillator B and we're going to do the exact same thing. Add in that same sine wave there. Now next what you can do is we can go ahead and check B over here to enable both oscillator A and B in the filter and then go ahead and turn the filter on by left clicking. And this is what you should hear. So what we can do is we can start playing with the decay and the sustain so maybe bring the decay in a bit there and then the sustain down. Bring the sustain up a bit and the decay in. So then we can go ahead and we'll grab our envelope by left clicking and holding and we'll just drag it onto the cutoff. Now what you'll see a lot of times with these type of bases is that one of the sine waves is up an octave and one of them is down an octave. Sometimes I even like to go down two octaves but we'll start with this. So that's kind of a pretty cool sound right there. I'm just going to turn my headphone volume up here a second. So I actually really like the way that's sounding. I want to try bringing this octave on oscillator A down another one. So that's actually really cool. Now for me, when I'm making these types of basses in Serum, I always end up finding like I can just keep on messing with the sounds and make even cooler sounds but then sometimes you go so far and it's hard to get back to that original sound you have so like for example I found this sound I really like it so I'm actually gonna save it and if you don't know how to save a preset in Serum you can do it by left clicking up here and then saving it to where you want on your computer but first I'm just gonna add in my uh, my tags here alright so in order to save this we'll go ahead and left click up here and just choose where you want to save it I am saving mine in a little bit different of a place because I'm actually working on a Serum preset sound bank that I might eventually give away or sell. Also, I'm just going to name this base here. And then all you do is go ahead and click save. So here's the sound we have. So this is a cool sound and we already have it saved but I think we can refine it further and then we could save it again as a different preset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click here and I'm going to grab FM from B and now I can start playing with this knob here. And we can go ahead and turn up the drive a bit here and the fatness. I might just want to add a couple more voices here, so I'll drag this up to like four. And I'm going to actually bring this octave down one more here, just to bring it back down to zero. So that's sounding pretty cool to me. Uh, you can try and add in um, some reverb here. It's a little much. Dial back on the size there. You can even try dragging the envelope onto the reverb mix. Not honestly, not really a fan of that. So I'm just going to remove all modulators and turn the reverb off. It's worth experimenting with, though. I think this sounds cool, but I think it needs a little something else. So we can try adding some hyperdimension. Maybe a little bit of distortion even. Just dialing back the hyperdimension in the mix there. It 
sounds pretty cool with a little bit of chorus on there. So yeah, that's how easy it is to make a Deep House sounding bass and serum. And, you know, there's endless possibilities to, you know, how you can tweak this. I mean, you could even just turn this FM from B up more. Now it's kind of sounding a little bit funky. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you found it helpful, give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.